Welcome back, y'all. And today, I want to react to Meet Kevin's video that he just posted a few hours ago um, about Neo and Tesla. And if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I think it was a great video on how he broke down how uh, Neo is uh, adding uh, different, uh, really just doing a battery swap and uh, something Tesla was doing uh, beforehand but never actually pursued it. And honestly, it's a great video on the way he breaks down these different uh, variances between the two companies. And uh, sawing it made me think, okay, well, what? how do we trade that information? Great information, but how do we trade that, especially in a smaller account? So before we get started, I just want a disclaimer, um, put that out there. I am not a broker. Um, I am only doing this for educational purpose. So hopefully you get some insight and hopefully a light bulb uh, sets off and maybe you can change some of these ideas that may help benefit you in your trading career or in your investing career, especially if you're in a smaller account. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Um, we're obviously in the after hours right now. So you're going to see uh, right now that the ES and some of the global markets are moving on the left hand side of the screen, but that's in the Globex hour. So really, um, not much going on, but uh, we did have some really choppiness today. Um, Russell was leading the group this morning. Um, so let's push that to the side and let's get into Neil. So um, Neil has just, if we just take a look at the stock chart and not look at any technicals or anything like that, I mean, um, bef like before March, we were just. We were just trading sideways um, for all I can remember. And then um, all of a sudden last year, we just started hitting these highs and highs and highs. And, um, you know, in the last four trading sessions of the new year, um, you can just see we just we we hit some highs and we've been bouncing around. But overall, we've been um, trading sideways um, for the last few weeks. Um, so. If you're bullish on Neil, I would think the best way is, um, you know, I mean, if you can afford to do stocks, well, then obviously you're, you can go ahead and you can just buy at the bid. Right now it closed at 51.45. But if you were to really make this worthwhile, then you did 100 shares of this, um, you wouldn't technically need to put up five, about $5,000. Um, if you're not in a margin account, if you're in a margin account, obviously that's going to be about 50% or usually about 50%, depending on your brokerage. Um, <clears throat> but when you want to, if you don't have that kind of capital up front, especially in a smaller account, but you want to really imitate having that um, exposure to being long Neil. Um, without having to put that much up, um, the best thing we can do is definitely check out the option. So right now, um, if we look at the February 19 option chain, which is about 43 days away um, from expiration, um, as you can see, I have a current Neil position on. This is a bullish uh, a play. I am bullish on Neil. But I had put this on uh, right before the new year had started. So this is still just working. Um, but <clears throat> without looking at this, uh, right now, Neil has an IV rank of 12. And usually, you know, if you're selling premium, um, you don't really want to be putting any type of put spreads or iron condors on or anything that's going to be selling you premium. It just doesn't work out that way. But what we can do is we can buy a debit spread um, and we can make it affordable and still have that long exposure. So if we do, we can kind of look at um, if we look at our deltas. Right. So if we if we get closer, as you can see, these are positive deltas. So maybe if we did like selling the 46. And if we did like 
you know, one third of the width of the spread. We can do like the 140, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, 41 by the wing on that. That's like five point spread right there. Um, that's a pop of 60. But our buying power, if you take a look, is $300. Um, and that may not be the same. Every broker is different. I'm using Tastyworks. Uh, so every again, every broker is going to be different. But you can you can see based off of this, you're going to have a low buying uh, power effect. Um, so you're only going to have to put up only 300 versus having to put up 3,000 or 5,000 dollars to be, you know, bullish in stock in Neil. And um, max profit is about 200, but you're not really going to take 200 out. You're you're probably going to do at least like maybe 20 or 30 percent out of this so probably only collecting between like 60 to about 120 dollars is what you're really looking to get out of this um even earlier than the 40 43 days um in neil um but that's something that you can definitely look at and um you know if neil continues to rise higher this is definitely a good play um for your strategy so um, that's just one thing you can do. Um, if you can, uh, you know, again, I wouldn't suggest it, but uh, you could do a put spread like I did. And it was about the same amount of just putting a debit spread on um, for that same amount. So that's one thing you can do. Um, if you are a Tesla fan and can't can care less about the battery swapping, in uh, Neil, uh, which I still think it's a really good idea, but if not, um, you can definitely take a look. Um, Tesla, you, I mean, you can buy one share, and that's going to be seven hundred and sixty-three dollars and fifty-six cents. Um, that's just one share. But um, again, if you want to imitate long shares, you can do a calendar spread in Tesla or again debit spread because of the iv rank being so low um now with tesla it's a little bit different because if you look at the iv within that monthly implied volatility in that option chain um you can definitely probably get away with doing an iron condor or at least a skewed iron condor so if you're definitely bullish um <clears throat> in tesla you can definitely do like a ten dollar wide um iron condor and definitely do it to the upside um so i mean there's you definitely have uh some wiggle room on that uh let's take a look and see um Actually, it, looking at these open interests, it may be a little bit hard to do that. But you can, again, like I said, you can do the same thing. You can definitely get in the money with this. And, you know, you can do $10 wide and put $700 for the same amount for one share. But collect, at, try to collect at least uh, $200. Um you know when extrinsic value starts to um lose out of this uh debit spread um so there's a few little options here but honestly um you got a few ways of doing this without just having to buy stock um especially when again when you're in a smaller account and cannot afford to just have you know 50 shares or 100 shares of tesla or neil um options really do help in terms of like still being able to play and being involved, um, you know, with information that's going on with that stock and still being able to be profitable at the same time. So hopefully that helped. Um, again, if you haven't checked out Meet Kevin's um, breakdown on Neil versus Tesla, I think it was really good. So go ahead and check that out as well. And other than that, I'll see you guys on the flip side. You guys have a safe time, safe trading, and be safe out there. Take care.